Hi everybody, CyberRiff here. I just wanted to do a video on 2020 into 2021. Just a reflection of the year 2020 as we go into 2021. I was actually going to do this video tomorrow, but I'm feeling that... Um, some kind of urgency in order to go through 2020 and try to help and explain some of the things that maybe a lot of people are confused about, concerned about as to what's happened and in general what's happened as far as what the cosmos is doing and universe is doing how does that relate to all the different experiences that you've had to and challenges and trials and tribulations that you've had to go through in 2020 how do we make sense of all that has occurred and happened? I want to say that from my perspective and how I've spent 2020 is really the year has been about development, spiritual development. mental, mind, soul, spirit, development. And that has taken me into, and should have taken you. So I'm showing you how I've traveled, how I've developed, how I've gone through 2020 and see if by what I'm saying helps you to find some correlation or begin to enter into your own journey, your own self-reflection, your own searching within of the real you, the real reason for your existence. Does that make sense? 2020 has not just given us COVID-19, the pandemic, the global pandemic, which has driven most people around the world into confinement, into solitude and silence, into mindfulness, into thoughts, into thinking, into survival into self-reflection, into stillness, into upheaval, changes, transformation. But before we can embrace transformation, we have to suffer the destruction or the changes that are radical, difficult, painful, painful to the point of losing friends and family that you've had a long time because the old 
has to sometimes be demolished like a construction site for you to build a new home you have to destroy the old one or renovate the old one first and this is challenging in, in itself because it takes planning it takes redesign it takes new thoughts new thinking new faith new hope new trust new belief and in 2020 we've all been faced with many unusual circumstances and experiences and challenges that has affected us in more than four dimensional ways four dimensional being physical mental spiritual and also personal and it has been a personal year because of the solitude the silence the mindfulness almost as if whatever's gone on in the world all these different things month by month the result and the end result has always been back to personal how have you been affected by it how are you going to plan through it get through it it's been difficult a very difficult journey a very difficult experience regardless of whether you're employed or you're self-employed whether you're a big corporation or a small operation worldwide it has challenged every individual on planet earth even with the presidency of america the presidency of iran the presidency of ethiopia the presidency and union of africa the presidency of france the presidency of the european commission or union ireland saudi arabia every single country and citizens of every country has been challenged in 2020 now this phenomenon this global experience and global challenge i don't think and i'm sure if someone rationally thinks about it is not by accident it's by design and when i say by design i am talking about specifically universal design cosmos design cosmic design which in 2020 you should have been questioning every single thing and self reflecting over every single thing that you have done or experienced in your life from the point of your first thought as a child 
your self-reflection should have taken you from the first thought of a child all the way up to present day and into your future what you intend to be what you intend to do who are you why do you do the things you do on a daily basis is the things that you do or the things that you intend to do of light or is it of darkness these are important things to think about and self-reflect on because the old building or construction of the last 20 years is crucial because of the great conjunction and if you don't know what I'm talking about just do a search for the great conjunction and the great conjunction that took place on the 21st of December which I'm not going to go into the Jupiter lineup and the astro astronomical side of it because there are many videos and experts on that topic but I'm just pointing you in a direction when you understand what the new universe is doing you will understand what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to plan or how you're supposed to think because it's not about religions and man-made denominations anymore those things those individual man-made ideologies and theologies are the old houses and the old constructions that are being demolished what's happening now is the new universe is speaking in and declaring it has always been in control and it is showing the entire world of people who live on earth that it is it is in control and will stay in control 24 7 as it has always been in control and now if you notice how many full moons and eclipses and now with the great conjunction the lining up of Jupiter and the cosmos re adjusting so many things with energy and matter that it affects the very energy and matter that we think and we breathe on a daily basis. Are you with me? When you start to understand that the new universe is the most important thing that keeps us all alive and the new universe in heaven that we all preach about and think about and proclaim in our individual religions and denominations of choice. We have to understand that religions and denominations are really just boxes, almost like chocolate or candy on a supermarket store, but every or supermarket shelf, but every brand is different. 
without realizing that you cannot put the universe on a shelf or in a box, a religious box or a denominational box. The universe doesn't care about all these different religions and denominations. It cares about mind, soul, spirit. It cares about thoughts, which is matter into energy. That's what it cares about. So all these challenges and changes that you've been experiencing, all these highs and lows and ups and downs, where you even to some people have gone to the point of needing a substance or needing something to escape these thoughts, these thinking, these trials, these tribulations, thinking that you're cursed or thinking that something's wrong with you or thinking that why do people understand what I'm saying or doing is all because you're being challenged by Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter and the sun and the moon and the stars because they produce energy Uranus because it pro produces energy all these different planets produce energy and as they move and circle the sun we are affected by this energy regardless of whether you want it or not. Are you with me? So you have to now align yourself with the universe on a daily basis. You have to understand and accept and research and put the work in to let the universe and the energy and matter of the universe and the planets know you by creator that you have put the work in to align yourself with the universe not align yourself with religions and denominations or religion or denomination or politics, or party, or people, not even family. You have to align first and foremost yourself with the universe on a daily basis in order to understand the real new you because the universe does speak. It does speak. The creator does have ears and eyes and spirit and mind. The same instruments and organs that has been given to us of creation. Creation possesses these things as communication, universal communication. So one has to use these instruments and organs in the correct way because we still all have that choice between good and evil. And the universe knows and the creator knows and the universal spirit knows exactly what your soul and spirit and mind and thoughts and thinking is all about. This is why 2020 has been a year of solitude, silence, stillness. Even churches have been closed. Religions have been closed. Denominations closed for a reason. Because the new universe and creator is saying, why get up every day and walk past me? As the sky, the moon, the stars, the sun, the sun, not S U N, not the sun, S O N, which is man made, S O N. Are you with me? Why walk past that to go to a building to praise and worship somebody of your choice? 
that's not making any sense to the universe or to the creator as sun s-u-n anymore that's why you're seeing disturbances disruption decline in religions worldwide it's a different time it's a different season no longer will the universe allow a man-made world to do whatever it wants to do and 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 treat people like animals and slaves no longer will it allow man-made world to color label people and treat people the way you think they should be treated because you think you're of a Pacific race or color when you're actually color blind. You're color blind and deaf to the universe. You're color blind and deaf to truth. There is nothing that predates Afuraka. That's why you have the pyramids of Kemet. And even though they relabel Kemet to be Egypt, that doesn't change truth. Change truth. So the new universe understands all these things, and as the it says in the the as in the beginning, so shall the end be. It is going to be as in the beginning, so shall the end be, because. All these factual things of the pyramids and of Kemet and of real kings and queens, gods and goddesses, not angels, gods and goddesses are the original authorities and the, the original rulers of the real cosmos and heaven to earth. So you can change these gods and goddesses and call them white angels and lie about it. But that will not alter or change truth. You could say that your religion has the truth. But unless your religion predates Afuraka, Kemet, Pyramids, Hieroglyphs, papyrus, real kings and queens, then your religion makes no sense, including Islam, including Catholic, including Adventist, Including Baptist, including Pentecostal, including Evangelical. It makes no sense. So this higher calling and higher experience that has been forced upon the entire world in 2020 is crucial and important. Because if you do not take the time out to sit and be still and do some self-reflection... And challenge yourself, challenge everything you've done in your life. And to some people, it may seem strange what you're doing. Because you've stepped aside from what you've actually been taught by your parents to do. You've said no to religion and denomination that you were taught by your parents to do. You've said no to things that would matter in the world. But in the new universe, in order for you to embrace the new universe, you have to walk away from it. You have to say no. You have to stand out and be peculiar. Which if you do... A study on peculiar just in the Bible. There's verses in there. 
even though the Bible's man-made. The real Bible is in stone. And I've done videos on this. So, in closing, as you go into 2021, you have to align yourself each day with the universe. You have to align your mind, soul, and spirit with the energy and energies of the universe on a daily basis. Now, this is not easy. This takes a lot of putting in the work and study and research and, and there's lots of videos on YouTube and different places and articles online that you can read. There's a lot on my website that you can read. But it's now is the time to do it because things will only now become more concentrated to the point where every thought is important every action is important and and people may think it's not about just going around thinking you're holy or thinking you know um, singing kumbaya that's not what it's about you have to be radical there's times when you have to be radical. There's times when you have to say no. When most of the other time you would have said yes. It's about protecting your energy and your karma and your soul and your spirit against all odds. Because a lot of people want you to be like everybody else, right? They want you to be part of this church or this community or this group or this gang and religions and denominations are gangs if you think about it but what the universe wants really is about you it's it's you it's how you think it's how you pray it's how you move it's how you act in line with the universe when the universe could be telling you to be a monk or a nun and everybody else is telling you to be a lawyer or a doctor or an attorney or a musician or a rapper or a basketball player these are crucial times now because the universe is actually looking at who is for kingdom and who is not for kingdom. And when I say kingdom, I'm talking about universal kingdom. So this is crucial times. It's not about religions, denominations, and political parties. You've seen that with America now, where presidents think that they could have been in office for the rest of their lives, right? They're still trying to stay or barricade themselves in a building. But times have changed radically. You don't have that power that you think you have if you do not have it with the universe. If it's not in your solar chart, birth chart. And how the planets and the cosmos align and line up or or move within your birth or natal chart or solar chart is crucial. This is why you have to put the work in. But it's a positive time. But you have to go through the destruction, through change, through solitude, silence, in order to get into the manifestations and the paradise awaiting you as a king and queen, a god and goddess of the creator in 2021. If you're on YouTube, please leave your comments, likes, subscribe to the channel. 
as we discuss things that really matter. Thank you for listening.